All right, Eddie. Tough road game in New Orleans. It's a W. Yeah. Let us never speak of this game again. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back to Ed and Eddie's Silver and Blue, where we talk Cowboys all day, every day. Hey man, we got the dub against the Saints. We really righted that ship when things were looking a little bit rocky in November. It's getting a little shaky. I mean, the first half didn't uh, have me feeling any better for a while. No, but you know what? We did something that most good teams do. You grind out those ugly wins. Because, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, no one's going to remember how ugly this win was. They're just right. going to remember you got the win and got to 8-4. Absolutely, and if you think about it, they kind of only gave up 10 real points, so it's a solid victory. Mm -hmm. But hey, without further ado, let's get into the good, bad, and ugly. Ed, start us off. The good, uh, obviously, pass defense. Oh. Man, that was fantastic. That reminded me of the days of Thurman Steves. I mean, that, they were just all over the place, snatching up every ball Taysom threw up, man. That was great. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll just say it right now. Yes, it was Taysom Hill. Yes, he had his hurt <laughs> finger, but... You go up against who's there. <laughs> exactly. That's a great point. Hey, I'll go with my next one, Micah Parsons. How can we not include him in the good? The guy, yet again, was flying all over the place. He was being used as a dominant spy against Taysom Hill, mm -hmm. bringing heat off the edge, and arguably he made one of the biggest plays of the game. That sack in the second half to bring Taysom Hill yeah. down, you know, was flying in so fast that he couldn't even get rid of it for that dump off pass. Dude is showing up in crunch time big time. No, I completely agree. Like, Micah was just everywhere. Looking like easy rookie, defensive rookie of the year. Defensive player of the year, man. He's making a push. Oh, and how about Carlos Watkins? Hey, the hey, big man. Yeah, that was cool. Dude, I love that he is a veteran presence bringing in good help on the run D, but look at my man getting a pick six, right? You know, also in the good, Greg the Lake Zerline. Yeah. I was very shaky, and I didn't even want him kicking it. He's at that point with me, like, I don't feel comfortable with him kicking it ever. Yeah. But give him his due. He didn't miss any kicks. He did his job. He belongs in the good. Yeah, good enough. Uh, let's roll to the bad. Keep it quick. Keep yeah. it moving. Yeah. Uh, starting out with the bad, I did not like our run defense against Taysom Hill throughout the first half of the game. I thought it was Michael Vick for a minute. Well, Jesus was Christ, crazy. dude, it was just, we knew what he was going to do, and then to make matters even more obvious, he hurt the middle index finger on his throwing hand. That was horrible. Like, at what point does everyone sitting at home be like, he's going to run it, stop the run. We like, all did, I know you did too. He couldn't throw it over 15 yards after a while. It's like, mm -hmm. you knew he was going to run, just load up the box, stop him, keep Micah as an all-time spy. Quit blitzing and giving him those lanes to run. And I said it on the preview video, and I kept saying it to Ed like every other play. I'm like, make him beat you throwing it. Yeah. If Hurt Finger Taysom Hill can beat you by throwing it 41 times, hey, hats off to the Saints. They clearly right. deserve it. But he threw four picks. Looks like they finally listened, right? I was going to say, to their credit, the Cowboys did finally kind of catch on and, and do it right. But yeah. for a while in that second and third quarter, man, it was ugly. It was just frustrating because you knew it was happening. You knew he was going to do it. They weren't even hiding it after a while. Right. It's like, dude, he's just going to run. Just stop the run. <laughs> I bet that's how the Bills feel today. <laughs> anyway, um, I got another bad for you. Player management. What the hell was Zeke doing in the game? Uh, he was clearly not himself. Uh, he was hurting the team, frankly. It would have been a great time to rest him and have a whole extra week in addition to our extended little rest now. And he would have come back strong for the end. I, I didn't agree with having him out there at And all. you know, here's the thing. I don't even blame Zeke for trying his best. No. He's a hobbled horse out there and he's trying his best. I'm not mad at Zeke, but it's more... You know, what are we doing coaching-wise? I mean, bring him in for the passing downs or, you know, the third and shorts. But, yeah. you know, it was clear Pollard had way more juice. He was what brought us in that game with that yeah. huge touchdown run. And yeah. what I'm saying is, even towards the end of the game, two of Zeke's runs that actually went over four yards, you know, just if it were Pollard, he would have broke it for at least another And it was so minutes. evident on that sideline run. You could see Zeke laboring. Even the announcer was like, oh, he doesn't look in the best of shape. So why are we putting him out there? That falls yep. on coaching, man. Yeah, that guy belongs in the bad. Uh, let's roll to the ugly. All right. Ugly for me, Kellen Moore. Oh. Hey, yeah. I hate when he gets in those weird stretches of Jason Garrett in the game plan. Right. Like, 
we weren't able to run early on, especially inside against the Saints. Yet we kept doing it. Well, it, the Saints are a very good run defense team. Were they third in the league in run defense? And I thought they did it right against Tampa at the start of the season. They were a great run defense, so they didn't bother running. Good, right? I mean, that worked. But for some reason, like you're saying, they insisted on trying to run against the Saints, and it just stalled and stalled and stalled. <sighs> Do you think that uh, Kellen Moore is holding back just a little bit because we got these big divisional games coming up and he's keeping keeping stuff close to the vest, his creative stuff maybe? I hope, you know, the best thing I could say is I hope because I, I don't get it. Like after a while you have to just stop being so vanilla with the offense and you have to stop putting in players that can't get it done. And speaking of which, we had Cooper back and he had one of the big plays early on to help our offense get going. Like. Why in the world do we keep putting in Noah Brown so much? I just, especially <laughs> right. when it was looking a little shaky in the third quarter where we're barely up. Davenport, I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, Mr. Ed. Why are we doing three wide receiver sets with Gallup, Noah Brown, and CD? I don't know, sir. Put it Cooper, it works. I have no answer. I can only guess that Cooper is not fully recovered, didn't have all his wind, and he's, you know, taking a break. I don't know. Well, you know what sucks to even say it? I'd rather at least have the threat of Cooper out there, you know, Good at point. 75% than yeah, Noah Brown at all. They might help with his safety if they leave him out there. Because there is a reason yeah. why Noah Brown continues to resign with us for a couple million a year. Exactly. What else Good you got point. for the ugly? Uh, for the other ugly, it, Taysom Hill. <laughs> that guy was... I mean, he is a great runner, don't get me wrong, but his passing was so bad, and it was a joy to watch, frankly. Uh, <laughs> but, we have to admit, he did have a hurt finger. Oh, yeah, and I mean, that explains why he threw it into Carlos Watkins' chest for that <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> yeah, you know, give him his due, he gutted it through, but... I don't know why they kept putting in an yeah. injured quarterback who could barely throw to begin with. Makes no sense. I was glad they did though and helped us get a W. Amen. So let's move to the great before we end this video here. Throwing who some is great. your great? Ed? Uh, little quick junior great, Pollard again. Pollard uh, gave us the spark and, and had that huge run and was actually productive in the running game. And I know, you know, I saw someone on Twitter saying, you know, if you take out that long run, he only averaged three and a half yards. Oh, is that how it works? You get to just take out plays that refute your claim? I, you know, you take out that interception, Trayvon Diggs only has eight on the air. Huh? Well, if you take out, you know, Dak's interceptions, he doesn't have any picks on the whole year. But no, exactly. I don't believe in all that. And, you yeah. know, that's all the more reason as to why we should have been running him a lot more. You know? Yeah. For my grade, I'm just going to go with overall team grittiness. Mm. And here's what I mean by that. No, I got that you. was a game that, even though we were the better team playing on the road against a team that we normally struggle with over recent years, just yep. a weaker Jason Garrett team would have folded. I agree. Like, if we were under Jason Garrett's tutelage, I would not have been shocked if we would have folded, coughed it up, let them have a marvelous comeback. But you know what? We stomped on their neck, and outside of a garbage time touchdown, we won pretty handily in the second half. You know, yeah. it was a very solid, right the ship statement, ugly victory. And I'm happy about it. The team showed grit, and we won. Absolutely. Hey, uh, quick reminder before we uh, get to the comments at the end uh, we didn't have a winner last week for this youth Trayvon Diggs jersey. Brand new. Just leave a comment down below why you believe you should win this, and uh, We'll send it out. Hey, it's Christmas time. Would be a nice gift. Yeah. All right, everybody. Please make sure to comment below. What did you think about this victory? You think it was a good, ugly victory? You feeling a little bit of a bitter taste? Let us know what you think. Absolutely. If you're not subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the like button, because every time you do, an Eagles fan cries. All right, everybody. See you next week.